In this video, I'm going to show you how you can also create these amazing aesthetic kind of like motivational looking Instagram reels in Adobe Premiere Pro uh, in just a few steps. So if you want to learn that, follow along. My name is Vince and let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new sequence, right? So right click here, click here on new item, new sequence. And here you want to come to your sequence settings. Now you want to set the frame rate that you are going to use. I'm going to personally use 24 frames per second. And here, this is very important where you set your resolution. Instead of having 1920 by 1080, you want to have 1080 by 1920. So uh, set that right there because that is going to give you a nine by 16 vertical uh, aspect ratio, right? Instead of having a 16 by nine uh, normal horizontal aspect ratio because for reels and TikToks and just short form content in general, you want to have the nine by 16 aspect ratio. Make sure you have square pixels selected and everything else I like to leave as it is there, I'm going to name this sequence IG Reel. Then I'm going to click OK. And now you can see we have our beautiful looking sequence on the timeline. And you can see it's also a vertical instead of horizontal. Now, next up, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the audio. So I actually just straight up downloaded an Instagram Reel. Uh, through my web browser from Instagram and I'm going to use the audio of that. So I'm going to open that up. Uh, it's this one right here. I'm going to drag and drop that on my timeline. As you can see, I'm going to click on it, right click, click on unlink and I'm going to get rid of the uh, video part. So I just have the audio on my timeline. Now I'm going to, after this, lock the audio because I don't want to mess that up. I don't want to cut any parts out or anything like that. And you can see it's around a seven second long audio. So quite short. I like making these more so like short and punchy reels myself. Next up, I'm going to add uh, the actual B-rolls or the, the videos of me and uh, kind of these like lifestyle videos onto my timeline. So I have these in my folder as well. I'm going to just select those and import them right here. So just like that, I imported all of these. I don't need a ton of clips in this case because this is a pretty short video. So this is the first clip that I want to have the video start with. And if you're wondering how you can get your Premiere Pro as well to have this exact same layout, just come here to the top to workspaces, editing, and then it should have this layout for you as well. I'm actually going to close this essential sound panel so it's even easier to see through. So here in this inspection uh, kind of like source uh, window, I'm going to set the endpoint right here uh, by pressing I on my keyboard and then I'm going to scroll through where I want it to end somewhere around here. I'm going to press O and now I'm going to drag and drop this onto my timeline. And uh, you can see that this doesn't really look that good, right? Because I'm uh, crooked. I mean, I'm not like leveled uh, and also, yeah, it's not filling up the whole screen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this clip, come here to effect controls and I'm going to change the rotation, right? First of all, so I will need to change the rotation to negative 90 degrees. So it fills up the whole screen and I'm also going to basically slow this clip down even more. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to go ahead and click here on speed slash duration and I will set this to 40%. And now I'm going to listen to this audio because it has some um, voiceover in it and it also has a drop where the music comes on. So the way I want to structure this is the first few seconds is just going to be me kind of in the background, uh, just editing, working on my computer, right? and having a text on top. So the monologue that is in the actual audio that I'm using, I'm going to caption that over on top, have me in the background. And then when the music comes on, I will flash up some more uh, cool clips. So let's listen to the audio for now. So this is right here where the beat kind of drops and uh, the monologue ends. So I want my clip to end up uh, being around this long. So I will make it a bit even more slow motion. So I'm going to set it probably at like around 30% and I will actually go ahead and click the optical flow for uh, time interpolation. So it's going to make it nice and smooth looking. Now it seems around good to me. I will shorten it a little bit. This way we have this in the background. Now I'm going to caption 
what uh, the voiceover is saying in the audio. So the way I'm going to do that, I will actually change to the captions and graphics uh, workspace. I'm going to add a new text layer right here. And well, I will listen to what the audio is saying. Okay, so the first is it always seems impossible. This is kind of like a bit cheesy, like motivational, you know, uh, talk, but whatever. All right, so I'm just gonna caption it. It always seems impossible. All right, and now I'm going to uh, change this uh, text up a little bit. So I will make it much smaller and I will change the font as well. Uh, I probably want to use something that uh, you know, looks nice and clean. So I actually quite like Montserrat. Uh, so I'm going to use that for this example and uh, whether I should make it uppercase or not, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to leave it uh, uppercase. And now I'm going to align center vertically and I'm going to align center horizontally as well. So now this is how my text looks. And I'm actually going to highlight this impossible part in bold because uh, I think that looks pretty nice when you can create some contrast in your text by using two different weight uh, of the same font. So you can see now the impossible, let's actually make it semi bold. You can see it always seems is like pretty thin and impossible is very nice and uh, bold. And then the next part of the audio says until it's done uh, here, right? So I'm gonna extend that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this one right by uh, pressing option and uh, holding and uh, I'm going to put right here until it's done all right and I'm going to align this in the center as well so we have the text now uh, I'm going to go ahead uh, next up and add some more b-roll in the second part so I'm going to listen to the clip now and see where I would add the cuts uh, in there right so let's listen to it Yeah, so this is a very low quality audio actually, to be honest, and not the best one for like editing on the beat because it's just super layered, but I'm gonna add like three clips in here. So I will come back to the editing workspace uh, right here and I'm gonna look through what other clips I have. So I quite like this one. I was in Dubai a few weeks ago and we rented a nice like Porsche 911 uh, or 992. Uh, so I quite like this one. I have also some like POV driving. So that's pretty cool as well. What else do we have? We have some like desert bugging and some uh, clips of me uh, driving. So I guess I'm just gonna use these couple. So let's use um, this one first. So I'm gonna use it from like here to here. Let's see if that's enough, should be. All right, so like that. Uh, you can see it's a bit more zoomed in than it should be. So I'm gonna go to effect controls and set it to 50% because uh, this clip was shot in 4K. So let's see. All right, um, and then here I'm going to uh, add the second one um, of me driving. And also on this one as well, I'm going to set the scale to 50% and uh, I'm going to add the desert safari one as the last clip right here. So that's kind of, uh, you know, how we are looking right now. Now you can see my footage is super uh, blown out right now. These clips that were shot on my iPhone are actually HDR videos. So the first thing I'm going to do is come here to basic correction and I'm going to bring down the highlights on that clip. So it doesn't look uh, that bad, or uh, I can actually just go ahead and bring uh, down the exposure as a whole, right? So I will bring that down quite a bit. I'm going to do the same thing on the second clip as well, like that, and on the third one as well. So just like that, it's already looking a lot better, but yeah, even on this first clip, I want to go ahead and bring down the exposure quite a bit. Um, because we want to have the text pop out uh, a lot, right? And next up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add an adjustment layer. So I will go back um, to editing for a second, right click here, create a new item, adjustment layer. I will make sure it matches the settings of my sequence. Click OK. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop that over all these clips. You want to make sure that it's covering all these clips that you are trying to color grade, right? And make sure it's over them. And now I'm going to come here to creative lot and I'm going to use my favorite lot, which is this one. It's called Aspen. Uh, so 
I'm going to apply that and boom, just like that, you can see how amazing this looks uh, already. It's a little bit, you know, strong right now. So I'm going to make sure to bring down the intensity a little bit, uh, but you know, it's looking pretty good already. Um, on this first clip, I want to have a even less of a, you know, color grade. So I will make a cut here and uh, I can individually then adjust it just over this clip. So I want it to be kind of like that. I'm going to actually come here to effect controls and zoom in a little bit more here like that and now i'm going to get rid of some of the audio in here so i'm going to right click here and click on unlink on all of these on this first one i want to get rid of that audio and on this last one as well i want to get rid of that audio as well but here uh, since it's like a pretty cool audio it's acceleration right i'm going to actually leave that on uh, and i'm going to fade it out in the beginning and at the end um, by making this bigger i'm going to now press command on my keyboard add the keyframe here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add another keyframe here at the end and I will bring it down so it fades out nice and slowly. Uh, I will maybe make it a bit uh, less loud in this part as well. Last uh, thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of an extra like zoom in animation on this clip. So these are all things you can take and apply to your own editing as well, right? So I'm going to come here to the beginning of this clip. I'm going to press here on this toggle animation button. So now I'm going to come to the end of this clip and um, here I'm going to make it like 55. So we'll have a little bit of this like zoom in at the same time happening. All right, so now I'm pretty happy with, uh, you know, how this edit looks. So the last thing I want to do before exporting video is I want to make this part right here with this orange kind of like cabinet even uh, darker. Okay, so I'm gonna come here to editing, effects, uh, another Lumetri color. All right, I'm gonna drag and drop that here. You can see this is the second one that we added. And here I'm going to add uh, uh, kind of like this four point polygon mask. And I want it to affect, you know, just like this area. And I'm going to make the mask feather uh, really high. And next up, I'm gonna go, uh, come back here, coloring, and make sure I am in these, this uh, second Lumetri color. Here, I want to kind of like bring down just the saturation. So I'm just going to do that just like this. And uh, since there isn't too much movement, in this clip it should be fine like that maybe i will move that a little bit this is not the you know most professional way to do it but uh hey i don't really care it's not gonna be you know super visible anyways but yeah i will make this mask a bit bigger and maybe a little bit less saturated i mean like more saturated and i will go right back into the first lumetri edit and um all right now i'm going to go ahead and export it so the way i like to do it is I will uh, just select this whole timeline. So I will go to the beginning and then go to the end where I want it to end. And then in the beginning, I press I. In the end, I press O. And then after that, I come here to export. I can set, you know, the name of it. I can set the location of it. Um, and yeah, I'm actually not going to change pretty much anything else here. I will just have it on match source. And then I'm going to click on export. Boom, uh, it's now exporting my reel. And uh, after that, I'm going to be able to uh, watch this masterpiece. It always seems impossible until it's done. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found some value from this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment as well. And if you want to learn more from me personally, then go ahead and check out my video editing and Photoshop masterclass, Magnetic Editing, where you are going to learn the ins and outs of content creation. So hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next one.